Breaking tonight, a big closed-door meeting in the Senate wrapped just a short time ago. Oklahoma Senator James Inhofe was there. He is ranking member of the Senate Armed Services Committee. Sir, good of you to be here with us again tonight. What did you learn? I understand there was a State Department, a Pentagon, a Joint Chiefs, and an Intel representative. What did they tell you? Yeah, they're all there, Megan. Obviously, it's a classified briefing, and I wouldn't be a it would say exactly what happened, but I can tell you opinions that I have as a result of not just that, but of the other things that are happening now. Let me, can I first of all say something about your previous guest, uh, Larry Korb? Mm -hmm. I, I, I hope people that are watching that understand what he's talking about. He kept saying that Bush turned loose some 500 people. Right. Well, the, the procedure is when they come in and they're, they're captured, they go through interrogation, they make a determination, are these people dangerous, are the kind that we need, and if not, they go ahead and send them back. Obviously, they kept everyone. There's not room in Gitmo for everyone. So that's a procedure. Probably, I'd say, at least one out of every two that comes in were released. That's not the case now. The case now is you have the five most dangerous people out there. Now, uh, frankly, and I know a lot of people listening to us right now and watching this won't agree with this, but I think we ought to kind of forget about Bergdahl and, and talk about what happened and, and, and the real risk that we're facing now. I mean, Bergdahl could have been, if he were a, a, some a hero or something like that, it's still the president, the administration should not have turned loose the five most dangerous really? uh, terrorists. So you still would Taliban say it's not has. worth it. That's based based on what you heard today? Yeah, well, that's, that's my own opinion. That's why, again, I can't say what I heard today because it's a classified briefing. Can you speak to whether there was uniformity, unanimity among those who briefed you in terms of the dangerousness of these men? I would say this. There's total uniformity. Total really? uniformity. I think, uh, you know, they rehearse these things uh, so that everyone sticks together. No one Did you walk away more else. concerned or less concerned? Uh, I did walk away. Uh, no, I was so concerned when I went in there that I didn't, ex I didn't see anything that I didn't expect. And that's really about as, uh, you know, as much as I feel comfortable saying. Well, let me ask you this. What about the proof of life videos? Because I know we've already had testimony that, that, that they were shown. And these are the videos that the, the, the Taliban supposedly released of Bo Bergdahl that led the administration to, to say he's on death's door. We heard that from Debbie Wasserman Schultz tonight. He was on death's door. That's why this had to be done immediately. Well, of course, Debbie Wasserman Schultz was not in this hearing. So I, I don't know where, what her source is. Uh, but yes, th that's, they've said that publicly that he was on death's door, he, and so this is a sympathetic thing. But again, we're overlooking the main problem here. Let me just tell you what my feeling is as a result of all of this, and I watch everything that is going on, at least I try to. First of all, we have a president, and his atrocity was that he turned loose the five most dangerous people that are over there. Secondly, he told the Taliban exactly when the U.S. would go out, and regardless of the conditions on the ground. But listen to the third thing. He told the Taliban that he's going to declare an end to hostilities. I'm reading that till I get the word right. What that means is once you end hostilities, anyone who's in there, you can turn loose. This president has had an obsession to close Gitmo now since before he was president of the United States. His legacy now in his own eyes is to get it closed. And this is a price, I suppose, that we're paying to do that. So the doors can just open and he'd walk away. That's a serious thing. And by the way, let me say one other thing I was Quickly, talking sir. to. Uh, uh, Kelly Ayotte was, gave me one of the quotes, and some of your listeners and viewers may not have seen this, but to let you know how dangerous these guys, these guys are, the guy who is the commander, Mullah Salem Khan, said, talking about the top guy that was released, he said, his, his return is like pouring 100,000 Taliban fighters into the battle on the side of jihad. Now the Taliban have the right lion to lead them in the final moment before victory and for their victory in Afghanistan. In other words, this has given new life to them. I got it. And a lot of the efforts that we have, the 2,186 people who lost their lives, mm. um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a very serious thing. Senator Inhofe, thank you very much for being here.